For 19 years I have been noting the vocal communication of cats. I have also started to study the communication of dogs six years ago. Based on my observations I have concluded the following universal facts. 1. Members of all animal species do communicate with each other through a combination of body language, vocalization, talking and suggestion. The vocalization is loud, and it is addressed to members of the same species, and also competing species. The talking is addressed solely to the members of the same species, and only they are supposed to understand it. The species hide their language. Animals have strong taboos to stop them from showing their language. 2. Among competing races the ones who hid their language better was the more successful. This method of selection resulted in developing a big variety of noise-making techniques, language structures, and speech tempo. 3. Human did not learn the languages of the animals. The animals hid and still hide their language from humans just like from other competing species. 4. Human hearing is noticeably inferior to animal hearing and less intelligent. 5. Human attention is slower than that of the animals. This is why they have trouble understanding fast-talking animals. For humans the words of fast-talking animals blur together into unrecognizable growling. The fact that I started understanding the language of cats is thanks to several lucky coincidences. One is that my cat didn't consider me an enemy who should be exploited for food but a friend with whom she wanted to communicate. Probably this is why the language hiding taboo didn't affect her. This taboo also didn't affect any cats that I talked to using cat language since birth. Second is that I am Hungarian and the Hungarian language uses all the sounds cats do and these sounds have their equivalents in the Hungarian alphabet. The third lucky coincidence is that my perception and attention is faster than average, probably since birth. But it is also possible that my perception was increased by my work as an artist. Cats are speaking a bit faster than humans, but still within the parameters of my perception. I could follow the sounds of cats, and when I heard it with my central hearing I could conjure the sounds in my mind. The kittens, to whom I have spoken since their birth, are speaking louder and slower with me than with other cats. There are a lot of videos on the internet and YouTube where you can hear cats meow. In every video, regardless whether it's American, Asian or European, you can hear the most common cat words. Me, au, ye, ma, mau. From this I concluded that all now living cats spread across the world in the last couple of hundreds, maybe a thousand years. Competing species, subspecies, groups that have lived alongside each other for millions of years have more or less differing languages. Because human nations were competing with each other, they during the course of history fought a life and death battle. The diverged in language to the point of incomprehensibility. This is why there are so many different languages and dialects. Even within a nation there is a minor difference between the tribes. This difference makes it possible, even today, to notice a foreigner. The richness of a species' language depends on the stage of development of the species, the complexity of their society, its organization, the lifespan of the individuals, and the pressure exerted by competing races. I can only imagine how complex the language of elephants, who live long lives, live in groups of multiple generations, possess excellent hearing and memory, might be. The elephants might even have poetry and folk stories as well. Based on my prior experiences and conclusions I find the following hypotheses likely. 1. Every species uses every sense and every opportunity to communicate. 2. Animals have been using vocalization and talking ever since the breathe. 
Breathing made the creation of sounds possible, and animals used it since. 3. The vocalization is aimed at members of both competing and their own species. The same sound can mean the same or different thing to the members of competing or their own species. Species with more advanced vocalization capabilities became more successful through better organization in offense and defense. 4. The species hid and still hide their language, because those of their species are loved to know it. In the course of history the species whose language was less understood by the enemy was more successful. This method of selection resulted in developing a big variety of noisemaking techniques, language structures and speech tempo. 5. More advanced languages resulted in better organized communities and thus increased the likelihood of survival and the success of the species during evolution and so got passed on to the descendant species. 6. The language is a tool for not only communication, but also thought, verbal memory and internal dialogue. I notified the Hungarian Etology Department for the 2015 Conference of Hungarian Etologists and the Scientific Academy of Hungary about these results. Peter Fenechi